this, I was daily driving Steve around, and the snow started falling, and I started saying to myself, man, I wish I was camping. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're on camping in Steve. Steve's overwhelmingly small tank, uh, he needs to be filled up a lot. I think we're going to probably get about 11 gallons out of this pump fill. I recognize the high aces. I yeah. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's That's awesome, dude. Here you are. Woo! It's chilly out yeah. with that snow in the face. I'm taking him camping tonight. Oh, good. Yeah. It's a good day to do it, I guess, huh? Yeah. What's your name? My name's Thor. Thor? Yes. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. I have no idea where I want to go. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna drive. We're just gonna drive. Oh, probably should we get food. That, that would help. Like groceries. Good. Thank you very much, David. Have a good night. Good night. Oh, Steve. What up, bud? All right, got the groceries. Now I'm going to do my best to uh, get out of town here. We're going to be spending the night probably like by a like a lake park or something to see how far I can make it these roads outside of town sometimes aren't uh, maintained very well so definitely got some snow here <laughs> all right so I've got this to keep me warm tonight it's a 950 watt oscillating ceramic space heater. From our uses of space heaters in the past, I wanted to try to find something that was a little smaller and cheaper and see uh, if it works with the battery any better than the other one did. In the box, we basically just got our space heater. I believe this heater was around $25 on Amazon. Uh, it draws 950 watts of power, has four heat settings, has a built-in fan, and it's a really cool orange color. Now, a problem we ran into when we were truck camping with one of these heaters is, uh, well, one, the last one drew about 1,500 watts of power, and it killed my battery in the back in about, it killed it really fast. My battery tonight is also a 1,500 watt hour battery, however... Steve has a generator. So we're gonna try to see if Steve's generator is powering the outlets and if I can stay warm using this little space heater tonight. All right. For now, I am gonna go ahead and keep the diesel heater running because I don't wanna drain my auxiliary battery here right away and I don't want the noise of the generator right now. I also do have the Jackery, of course, and it's at 85%, so we'd probably get about an hour of power on this thing. I am just gonna double check to make sure that this just works. Does the generator need to be on for these four? I'm gonna use uh, Google Translate and see if I can figure out what these say. So uh, after, you know, translating everything on here, flipping all these switches back and forth, saw this. No? Come on. Well, we found out one other thing today. These outlets don't work. All right, does this thing work? We 
the custard out the jack really, really quick. Okay. So it works. Looking at two hours. Yeah, he's just climbing up though. We're gonna we're gonna shut her off. We got all sorts of things going on here. I don't see any cords unplugged. I think I should make some food first. Make sure my doors are locked. Today, we're making breakfast for dinner, baby. Sounds so good. Um, today's recipe actually comes from Amy in New York. A little backstory from Amy is that uh, her two sons have autism and other special needs, and it's very rare for them to find uh, two, like a thing that they both like to uh, enjoy. And uh, apparently my videos are one of them, so I feel, uh, I'm very thankful. That's awesome, it's great to hear. So if this meal doesn't warm my heart, that definitely does. And I hope that I do your recipe justice because we're gonna be cooking their uh, their favorite meal tonight in Steve breakfast for dinner. So it's uh it's a stovetop frittata, I think that's how you say it. But it's basically like a quiche kind of thing uh, with eggs. If you guys like the sounds of it, you can try it too. You know it's cold when your olive oil looks like a churro. I, I don't like that pan at all. One thing that I'm going to add is just a little bit of wilted spinach. Another thing I'm gonna add to the end is some green onion. I think you're supposed to cover this thing, but do I have a cover? Not really. How about this? That looks like a fire hazard, doesn't it? How to start your Japanese RV on fire. Don't do as I do, do as I say, and don't do that. Ooh. Shee! Look at that boy. If you guys want to submit a recipe go to mavmadeit.com there's a, like a little little thing you can click on to uh submit a recipe and a story to me if you think you got something good mavmadeit.com let's dig in it looks good and it is good breakfast for dinner potatoes and sausage and everything i mean it's all just held together by the egg it's all my favorite things that I like on like a skillet or in an omelet. I'll put in one. This is hitting at about like a, let's say like an eight right now. I definitely need some more of this. Yeah. I do have one last idea before I completely give up hope on uh, 
the whole generator running my heater tonight. Plug or anything in here? No. Oh boy. I'm trying everything, man. Like everything. Oh no way. No way. No way. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Okay, so the fan works, and when you switch it to heater, it shuts off. Oh. Ah! Well, um, I feel like I've exercised most of the things that I could try. I think we're gonna be uh, relying on the unreliable diesel heater right now. It's pumping out some heat right now, which is great. We've got the generator going now, as you can hear, probably. Well, fingers crossed. Uh, it's gonna be 20 degrees tonight, so hopefully this diesel heater keeps us warm. Three and a half hours. It's actually pretty good. All right, well, I shut the heater off for now. Um, I'll probably be using it in the middle of the night once the diesel heater goes out if it if it does just like last time good morning I turned I ended up turning this thing on like an hour ago but to my surprise the diesel heater never went out last night so even though the generator died somehow we still had power all night That was uh, definitely not how I was expecting that to go last night. I'm gonna go try to find a gym to get a lift on. But hey, have a good day. Until next time, here at Another Drill, just keep on trucking.